Now, there are other situations we can run into, too. For example, let's say we have two robots that are shooting at each other through a wall. Maybe they're not the brightest robots in the world. Or maybe they are. Let's take a closer look at this situation. We have a few different bounding boxes to consider. We have this wall made up of a few bounding boxes, and we also have the bounding box of the rocket. So let's say we have this rocket here, and in one time step of the physics engine, it is on this side of the wall. But on the next time step of the physics engine, it is on this side of the wall. Now, everything in our physics engine happens at discrete steps. So there's no point at which this bounding box and this bounding box intersect. So then, which bounding box should we use? Do we want to end up using this bounding box right here? Or maybe we should calculate some halfway point between the two right here and use that bounding box. Or maybe we want to use the entire swept area, swept out between the two time steps, and use that instead. Now, the box I've drawn is a little bit bigger than the path that would be swept out between these two time steps. Which of these do you think that we should use to properly calculate collisions? Check whichever single one you think is appropriate.